Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm Dylan Gandy. And I'm Darren Francis. It's Thursday, November 17th, and we're here with your daily announcements. Do you or your club want to perform in the Blacklight Rally on Friday, January 20th? ASB is looking for performances that have not been given an opportunity to shine. Please know that not all acts that sign up will be selected to perform, and all performances must be pre-approved with dance and accompanying music. If you are chosen to perform, you are agreeing to follow through with your commitment, so please only inquire if you're serious. From November 14th to December 15th, ASB is partnering with the Men's Soccer and the Elk Grove Food Bank for a food drive to support our local community. They're accepting dry or canned food, small cans, and ramen noodle packs. For any donations you make, you'll be rewarded with IMCO tickets. Last year's yearbook is on sale in the student store for only $20. You can stop by during both lunches and pay with cash or card. Make sure to make yourself a copy before they're gone forever. Come to the Black Box Theater to watch our Wolfpack Performing Arts program perform a family reunion to die for. The show's time are, are at Friday at, at 7 p.m. and Saturday at 2 p.m. or 7 p.m. Tickets are $10 and can be bought at the student store or online by scanning the QR code. Don't miss out. Now let's pass on over to Alex and Damon for In the News. And this is your In the News update. The Senate has passed the bill to advance the bill to protect same sex and interracial marriage under federal law. The Respect for Marriage Act does not force states to issue marriage licenses to same sex couples, but would require them to recognize those marriages performed elsewhere. This decision came up during the summer's Supreme Court decision that reversed Roe v. Wade. Senate Democrats held off on bringing the bill to the floor until after midterm elections due to wanting to protect Republican support. The final vote could come through this week. It could lead to the bill going back to the House and potentially the President's desk. Kristen Soto, a content creator on TikTok, is conceptually doxing people, showing that their accounts aren't as private as they seem. She does this by revealing the birth dates of the people in her comment section after they challenge her to find them. Soda Kuhn is in no way experienced in cybersecurity and is simply just a restaurant server in Chicago who loves puzzles. This started after TikTok creator on t asked the viewers to guess her age and Soda Kuhn stitched her video and gave her exact age and birth date, attracting many viewers and growing her following from 36 to over 257,000. Poland's NATO representative and the head of the military alliance both said Wednesday that a missile strike in Polish farmlands that killed two people appeared to be unintentional and was probably launched by air defenses in neighboring Ukraine while protecting from Russian attacks. This could have been really bad considering the immense tension within Europe at the moment. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi will address her future plans in a speech from the House floor on Thursday as Republicans are projected to lose control of the House bringing an end to a four-year hold on the Speaker's gavel and delegating the back to the majority. The announcement about whether Pelosi will seek another term in House or clear the way for a new generation of lawmakers will put to end months of speculation about her political future. This is following the violent attack on her husband, Paul Pelosi, of which Pelosi herself was a target at their San Francisco home last month. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Alex Linker. And I'm David Ramos. And this was your In the News Update. Thanks, guys. During your first period classes, you have the opportunity to earn donuts. The three first period classes with the lowest percentages of tardies in the month of November will receive donuts in December. There's an extension for senior portraits. The new and final deadline is Monday, November 28th, which means you have about two weeks left to ensure your feature in this year's yearbook, including Thanksgiving break. See the yearbook website, the senior Google Classroom, or the newsletter for more information. In honor of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday and legacy, the MLK Celebration Committee is pleased to announce the 10th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Essay Contest with parental and guardian permission. Essay winners will be interviewed and showcased on ABC 10. The essay submission deadline is Friday, December 16th. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Darren Gandy. And I'm Darren Francis. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And a straight for the wolf is a pack. Happy, Happy National, National Butter Day, Wolfpack. Wolfpack.